Hi everyone! Today I will take you on an artistic adventure around the city. My next guest is Katarzyna Tarnacka, Environment Art Director. She is responsible for creating the world full of life and super artistic details that will encourage you to explore the Villador. Hi, Kasia. Hi, it's nice to see you. Okay, so art in modern dark ages. Please tell me why is it so important to express it in the game? Um, every city is full of different types of art, whether it's actual street art or advertisement banner, business logo, or even simple traffic sign. It's all um, graphic design. Uh, designed by an actual artist. And without that, a city in the game would feel empty and distant, just not immersive. That's why we've put a lot of effort in designing many, many murals and a lot of street art for the city of Villador. A lot. That's a key word. Yeah, it is a lot. But for us, it's an opportunity to create something really close to our hearts. Sometimes there is actually no limitations and we get to express ourselves just like street artists. Uh, we can create something that is uh, important to us, talk about something that we care about, uh, or create something that makes us laugh and uh, add another easter egg. Okay, I need an example. Uh, okay, so um, the mural that is actually close to my heart um, and touches on topics that I care about is a mural made by Emil Zagielski. Uh, it's a kind of a snapshot of a person's thoughts captured in a, in a moment. Uh, and I think it's really interesting to read into it. Okay, the jar, the thoughts, I really love it. And I also heard that our community loves our murals. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, when we designed the street art for Dying Light 1, uh, the community reacted really positively and really appreciated uh, what we've done. So it was natural for us to add more for Dying Light the following, and now, of course, uh, Dying Light 2. Uh, we get to talk about uh, things that matter to us, um, world situation, some commentary on that, um, but also things that we care about and love, for example, our pets. Uh, but also things that were a big inspiration in the very early stages of the development of Dying Light 2, for example, paintings of Hieronym Bosch. Oh, actually, he's known for adding a lot of animals to his awesome paintings, so... but. Do we have any, for example, cat murals? <laughs> you know, cats are quite viral. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, we do have uh, cats on our murals. Uh, we have dogs and even one rabbit. And of course, the chickens. Oh, I actually saw the chicken mural <laughs> in our Wrocław office. Is it coincidence? Not at all. Uh, we recreated some of the murals from our games in our Wrocław office because we just like them <laughs> and um, uh, we smile when we see them in the corridor. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me more about them? Sure. Uh, my favorite is probably the girl with an umbrella. Uh, it's a mural from Dying Light 1. You can find it in the old town. And uh, I think it was the, the one that was the most appreciated by Dying Light 1 fans. And I think that's fair because it's really beautiful and uh, um, actually really clever. But the one that always makes me laugh is the Never Forget Chicken Mural from, from the following. Um, it was part of a really ridiculous and uh, intricate Easter egg um, that we made. And I still can't believe that it now exists in real life. <laughs> yeah, we talked a lot about murals, but this is just a small piece of your work. And what are the other elements of your work? Um, yeah, our job is actually quite technical and demanding um, because with parkour everything is gameplay so everything we design uh, we have to take the, take the gameplay into consideration and we put a lot of effort to um, create a city that is beautiful full of life but also really fun to explore when um, when using parkour people may think that your job is just easy and fun but it has a great impact on the final game yeah, that's true. And it's actually all around you in the game. Uh, we design every piece of the environment. We even designed the city emblem. It was made by Kasia Mikulowska and you can see it uh, and find it on many urban elements like uh, flags, manholes, bus stops and so on. Mm -hmm. And what is the greatest thing in uh, creating those small pieces? Um, we go into a lot of research when designing those things. When it comes to mural, aside from uh, thinking about the meaning, about the topic, 
Uh, we go into research on how, how does the paint behave on the certain uh, surface, how to recreate the, um, the spray paint in the di digital uh, art forms. We often wonder about things like uh, what would people use to write with uh, so many years after the fall of the civilization? Would simple pens, would they survive? And if not, what would they use? Would they go back to quill? And if so, how to recreate those imperfections and characteristics of ink uh, in digital? And uh, we often go into so much details as <laughs> in actually inventing handwriting for given NPCs. And uh, our artist Kuba Witowski is an absolute master in that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds amazing. And now, any other interesting details? Yeah, actually, uh, every member of Concept Art Team for the Environment has designed a teeny tiny set of stickers, and you can see them and find them all around the world. They're not part of any quest. They're not a collectible item. They're just small detail that every every one of us wanted to add to the game. And here are the examples of uh, stickers from Kasia Zielinska and Anja Krzemin. We definitely should create an art gallery with all of your works. That would be awesome. But first, let's give the players a chance to explore the city and find the details on their own. Oh, I'm sure they will spend a lot of time searching for these collectible murals, all their small pieces of art. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you, Kasia, for joining me today. Thank you, Paulina, for having me. And thank you all for watching us today and remember that we see each other in the city on February 4th.